All right, good morning. We are going to look at this foldable electric kettle set that we have here. And my plan is to try to uh, race up and get the kettle going so that we can look at the other items in this kit while we simultaneously wait to see how long the water will boil. So we're gonna talk about this other stuff, but my goal here is to get the kettle started and then circle back to all the other goodies in the case. So let's uh, let's go onwards towards that. We've got the power cord here. Set that aside. This I'm guessing has to be the kettle itself. Let's get him out of the bag. And you know, it's a decent sized apparatus. Looks like this handle folds out. How do we open it? May end up having to refer to some directions. We'll see. I assume you just pull though. This is a cover. Okay, kettle cover it looks like. Yeah, this should pop out. There's kind of some knurls. You can grab the handle there and just pull. There we are. So that just folds over inside of itself. Looks like a thermostat here. Anything from keep warm all the way up to boil. Very nice. And an offsetting. And a power cord. So like I said, we're going to get this going and keep an eye on it on the side so we can hopefully see how long it takes to boil some water. Let's just... I have... I have a pitcher here of water that's just been sitting on the countertop, filtered. I'm just going to add, I don't know, let's just go until we've filled up the silicone roughly more or less. That must be about two cups-ish, I'm going to guess. I think this part is it's like a handle, and we have a lid here. And does this lock? It must. There's kind of a locking tab on this. I just haven't quite figured out how it works. Okay, so that locks it down and then I don't know. I don't know if this little piece of plastic is strong enough to lift this thing full of water or not. That's what they appear to be suggesting, but um, we'll see. Now I want to kind of see how fast this water heats up. So my plan is to take, got a multimeter, multimeter here that can read a temperature. It's not necessarily accurate. Right now it's saying that it's about 78 degrees in the probe and I can guarantee you it's not actually that warm in my basement at present, but um, relative, you know, relatively speaking. So I'm thinking to keep this in the water. I'm just gonna just barely get it in the water. I'll get that. Sorry, I'm looking around the camera trying to get just the end of the probe in there. Maybe won't end up needing the stick. Let's set this stick aside. Might be able to just pinch that in place there, like a little alligator clip. Let's look. Okay, so the probe is just an inch or so into the water there, and it's dropped down to about 70 degrees. That seems fine. I'll put the lid on this. And let me take the twisty tie off of the cord. Here. Bear with me here. So that I can get, it's not a super long cord, about two to two and a half feet, I would say. All right, so we've got the kettle there. Now we can plug it into our source of power. 
and this is a watt meter so it'll tell us how much power it's drawing and we're just about to roll over the five minute mark and I'm turning this thing up to full power so 640 watts are being drawn so that's pretty good it's you know gonna it's gonna fluctuate a little bit but Looks like we're drawing 640 watts with the thermostat turned to the wide open boil setting, so maximum power. I can see we've added 10 degrees to the water there already in about 30 seconds, so that's good. We'll just let that uh, work on itself for a little bit and go back to this really nice, really nice carrying case that they include. It has a handle with a soft, flexible rubber grip, nylon strap, zippered, of course, a really nice, smooth cloth material case. Inside, there's an upper webbing holding a bunch of accessories, and the lower area has a molded spot that fits the kettle itself. In this black bag, we've crossed 100 degrees in just over a minute. In this black bag they include this travel adapter which is a really nice a really nice thing to include. Um, I don't actually travel that much or really know exactly how to use this but um, it's it's great of them to have included this as an option so that you can use this in your travels and this fits with everything else right in the case. Down here looks like we have a couple of cups. I'm guessing they're cups because of the lanyards and the size. We'll take a look at one of these. 126 degrees and climbing there over on the side. Watt meter still showing about 640 watts. Working away. All right, so this is either intended to be a cup or a bowl. Let me pull this out. You just grab these ears, and this is going to be hard to do because of the vacuum. So let's take this lid off. Now it'll pop right out. Very nice. So it is a cup, it has these ears for a base here. And I really like this little tab because this would make it easy to hang this for drying while camping. Um, but it's a little cup. It might be a little piece of manufacturing stuff to remove. It has a metal lip, which is a nice surprise. And it looks, you know, relatively stable here on this table. And thanks to the metal rim, we're able to have a lid. So you can put this lid, the lid is what actually has the lanyard over this, and you could keep some bugs or whatnot out of your cup. So that's really cool. And there's two of those. So two cups. I try to be organized as I go through this here. Collapse it back up. When you're done with it, it's dry. Lid will also keep it clean in storage. Really nice. We're at 175 degrees over here. 640 watt draw has not really changed. Bunch more goodies here in the lid of the case, including the instructions that I absolutely obviously did not read, but everything you need to know about how to officially operate it is within here and care and maintenance and all that type of stuff. This, I believe, is the pour over unit. And then we have the bowls. There's two of those, two cups and two bowls. The bowls are really nice, really nice and large. We're about to cross 200 degrees over there. getting close I can see a little bit of water movement so we have another lid nice silicone lid for your bowl 
and the bowl opens up as thus. Now we're just crossing, I'm looking at the camera, we're just crossing the 10 minute mark on this video and we just started the water at the five minute mark, which means it's boiling now. Almost to a T, five minutes from room temperature water that was in a, a water pitcher to boiling. And it looks like it's just maintaining that boil. What I'll do now is I'll turn the thermostat down. I'll put it right in the middle where it says keep warm on the thermostat and I don't know if it will need to engage anymore or not but it went down to a zero watt draw and water temp is currently 210 just just barely under the boiling point and we'll see We'll just let that uh, hang out for a moment while we finish looking at the other items in the kit. So you have this, this is much bigger than I thought it would be. My whole fist easily fit in there and more. This is a large, large bowl holding, I'm not sure how much liquid, quite a lot would fit in here. I don't know if it says specifically, it says BPA free. Um, no metal rim or anything on this one, but you do still have a lid and that fits, that fits decently well. So for keeping, keeping a little heat in, keeping little bugs or ash or tree sap out of your food, having that lid is nice. It's not as tight fitting as the other lids, but it's still functional, but I can shake this one off. But it's, it still fits reasonably well. I don't think it, like, screws on. No. Fits pretty nice. You get two of these large bowls. So, big fan of these. Because I, th I th honestly figured that they would be smaller. You could definitely put a full Campbell's can of soup. Pretty large one into that. If you're camping, good amount of rice or something. And two of those on the bowls, really nice. The last thing to look at here is the pour over. This is meant for making coffee. Pull this out of here. Oh, and there's a nice little carabiner here so that you can, I guess, clip on, clip this onto something maybe hang something. I don't know if the directions cover specifically how you're intended to use the pour over. Uh, don't see any pictures of it. So, but uh, if you've ever used one in any other setting, they're relatively straightforward. So you've got a thickened, very thick silicone base here. I'll probably have to get a cup back out. So if you're going to make yourself some coffee with your water you just boiled, you would set up one of the cups like this, and then you would get your base of your pour over over the top of the cup like that. It actually seems like that fits. There isn't like a like a lip like it would lock on, but it it's obviously made to fit this reasonably well. And then you would put in maybe a a reusable filter or a paper filter and some coffee grounds and you would take your kettle pour the grounds through or pour water through your grounds and through your filter in here and it would get filtered through come out the bottom and become coffee in your cup so this is kind of a neat a neat addition to this whole thing and the ability to hang it to dry or anything that you need to do like that. There's a couple of these items that have hanging holes on them. The bowls don't. The bowls aren't set up to be hung, but that's all right. So that about does it. Two bowls, two cups, and a pour over. It all fits together along with the travel voltage um, converter device. All of that fits into that case that I showed you before. 
pretty nicely with the instructions. The water is holding its temperature pretty well, so I wonder if I just creep up on the thermostat a little bit, if it would kick on. Yeah, it's still, it's still pretty hot, all that water in there. But I could probably fool it. So I've, I've put the thermostat back to the center setting, the keep warm setting. Pardon me while I set this to the side. And I'm just going to pour in a little bit more room temperature water so that we can maybe trick it into kicking on. Temperature drop to about 170. Let's see at what point. Oh, I think I heard it turn on. Maybe not down to 150 degrees. Sorry, I'm bumping the camera thing as I go here. 140. And it hasn't turned on yet. At about 150, just under 150 degrees. Turn this up a little bit more. About the three-quarter setting. Hmm. 150, I would kind of think that maybe the thermostat would kick on right about now. Oh, there it is. So about three-quarter setting between keep warm and boil and 150 degree water temp. And it looks like it's just on and off. I don't think it really ramps its power up and down. It's just a simple thermostat. And when the temperature drops low enough, then it will come on and uh, heat the water up to whatever point this is set to. Halfway between keep warm and boil. Looks like halfway between keep warm and boil is just over 150 degrees. So that's reasonable for teas and, and even coffee and a number of things. So you, you have some thermostatic control, which is pretty nice. Definitely take the uh, readings with a grain of salt, although it looked pretty accurate once we got up to the boiling point. So that all seems good. You can turn it off there easily. I appreciate that the cord unplugs on both ends because cords that are permanently attached to travel appliances are a little bit inconvenient. Um, not a terribly long cord, but long enough for most intents and purposes. And this is a typical PC power supply type of cords. You might even have a longer one of these floating around your house somewhere if you could really use a little bit more length. Um, this is a standard end, so you could easily get a longer one if you needed it. With two cups, two bowls, the pour over, the travel adapter, everything in the carrying case, um, can't really tip it or adjust it right now to show you, but what, uh, what we have seen of it today I would say I'm a big fan of this travel kettle. I put in a lot of water now. Let's see if I dare. I don't I don't think I would use just this little plastic handle to lift the whole thing. Multimeter wants to be turned off, but it's not like terribly hot to the touch either, so pouring this out's not going to be not going to be a big deal. It all collapses back down in in its case and uh and you're good to go.